crying Oh my little darling, don't you even moan Some sweet day coming, gonna carry my baby home It's nice to be back in Libertyville, Illinois. This is my third time in three years being back here. Especially nice to be here in the nice hall where we can do some dancing on a good old wood floor. And where most of you know what to expect. In fact, some of you know so much what you get to expect that you come down and you say, now you're going to do this, aren't you? So it gets easier and easier to come back to places like Libertyville. Because I don't even have to think about what I'm going to do. I just sort of sit around downstairs, pretend I'm tuning up, and wait for people to come down and say, do this, do this. But you've never been here before, have you? <laughs> no, you haven't. How old is your baby? Oh, he might have been here last time. She, she was here. <laughs> well, here's one that I got a request for. Well, I wish I was a bowl in the ground. Wish I was Now you're going to have to sing, you know that, don't you? Don't be embarrassed. We all act foolish. The ones who aren't singing are the, you know, the ones who are going to be embarrassed. So it's just, I wish I was a mole in the ground, and if I was a mole in the ground, I'd root that mountain down. Come along. I wish I was a mole in the ground Wish I was a mole in the ground If I was a mole in the ground I'd 
root that mountain down I wish I was a hole in the ground Tampy, let your hair roll down Tampy, let your hair roll down Let your hair roll down And your bangs curl around And it's Tampy, let your hair roll down Wish I was a mole in the ground Wish I was a mole in the ground If I was moldy in the ground Lord, I'd root that mountain down I wish I was a mole in the ground Tampy wants a nine dollar shawl Tampy wants a nine dollar shawl I come over the hill with a ten dollar bill She says, baby, where you been so long? Baby, where you been so long? Where you been so long? Baby, where you been so long? I've been locked up in the pen with those banjo picking men And it's baby, where you been? So long, said honey. I wish I was a mole in the ground. Wish I was a mole in the ground. If I was a mole in the ground, I would root that mountain down. I wish I was a mole in the ground. Here's a new verse. My favorite, I guess, written by a little girl back home. Wish I was a hole in the ground. Wish I was a hole in the ground. If I was a hole in the ground, I'd be a mountain upside down. I wish I was a hole in the ground. Here we go, last time now. I wish I was a hole in the ground. Wish I was a hole in the ground. Wish I was a mole in the ground. Thanks. Well, I guess the closest thing that, you know, that you would describe the kind of music that I play uh, is by comparing it to a, a, you know, a real marketable kind of music, uh, like bluegrass. But uh, several of the instruments that I play don't, don't find their way into bluegrass music, such as the auto harp which is really the only American instrument that's involved in acoustic yeah. string music. Um, it, it's an instrument that was invented about 100 years ago in this country by a German immigrant named Zimmermann and popularized by people like Pop Stallman and the Carter family. And uh, what, it, what, it, what it really is, it's, it's an ingenious uh, adaptation of, of the zither, which is just a, str a box with strings running parallel to the sound. Line. And they take these bars and by using these felt pads that knock out the strings that you don't want in a particular chord. <laughs> Pop Stallman, a great musician from uh, Galax, Virginia, patented the idea of using these metal and plastic finger picks. And pinching the strings. And of course, it was a adapted by the Carter family, who went on to record things like the Wildwood Flower. exactly the way that the Carter family did with these few notes in the upper register that are just slightly off. Years of ethnomusicological study. <clears throat> An instrumental called the Victory Rag.
president stepped off the silver screen He said, people put your lives here in my hands We can make this country's honor white again Let the sulfur smoke of progress fill our land Now we've got government on horseback again Back when congressmen were really men Oh, we can make it on our own Running on testosterone It's government on horseback again Come help me give our land the golden goose Just turn our native corporations loose High voltage lines will go the extra mile Now it's power to the people nuclear style And it's government on horseback again Back when congressmen were really men Oh, we can make it on our own Running on testosterone It's government on horseback Blow out the lamp beside the golden door We don't want your huddled masses anymore And without the unions and the ERA Why we can all have twice the jobs at half the pay And we've got government on horseback again Back when congressmen were really men make it on our own running on testosterone it's government on horse back again i need your help right here back again back again we've got government on horse back again it's back home with all the mommies bomb the hell out of the commies it's government on horse back again You play so many different instruments. What was your first instrument? And I incorrectly told her that the guitar was my first instrument because that's incorrectly because I realized after visiting a friend of mine, old high school buddy of mine out in California, week before last, that the guitar was not my first instrument. No, when I was a kid, I was not born, contrary to popular belief, with a banjo on my knee or a jaw harp in my mouth. No, I wanted to be a rock and roll drummer. I mean, I wanted to be one in the worst way. That's probably how I would have been one, too. <laughs> but my mother, being the smart woman that she remains today, refused to get me a set of drums. And that's what I wanted. I mean, I would, have not, I would not settle for one of those little boards with a rubber pad on it. That was invented by a mother. No, I wanted noisemakers. Cymbals, trap sets, bass drum, tom-toms, bongos, snare drums, five snare drums is what I wanted. But, you see, I was the oldest of nine kids. Come to think of it, I don't guess my mother was all that smart. <laughs> but um, she realized that even if I gave up the drums after two or three months, that there were eight other ones behind me, <laughs> and that even a day or two, but a novice at the drums is a day's too long. So I was, re I resigned myself as about age eight to a life of musical oblivion. I knew I was, I mean, little, I, I never knew it was going to come true. <laughs> but I knew I was never going to be able to play music until the next year. When I saw these two guys, two black guys from Mississippi at a carnival. One of them played the guitar, and he played real get-down, dirty, roll-in-the-mud, ragtime blues guitar like I'd never heard anybody play before. And he had another guy with him, and that guy played himself. He did hambone, you see. Now, I saw that, and I said, that's for me. You know, because you, you, know, you got the bass drum, and you got the snare, 
me take my mute off here. <laughs> and you got all kinds of different sounds from all kinds of different sounds. So I sat there and I watched that guy for a week straight until I could do it. Because that's how long the carnival was in town, you see. I'd pay my quarter and I'd never leave. Well, I got to be pretty good. And uh, this friend of mine from high school has reminded me that I was pretty well known in my little elementary school for being able to not be afraid to beat myself. <laughs> and, I, and I loved it, and I did it all the time. Whenever music was on, I'd, I'd do a little hand bone here and there until I was about 13 years old. And of course, then it was no longer cool to beat yourself in public. <laughs> I mean, you just, um, you know, I didn't go to parties and people, you know, people no longer said, hey, John's here, how about a little hand bone for us all, John? No, they didn't do that anymore. So, in fact, I suppressed it, suppressed it so well that I totally forgot I even knew how to do it until, oh, I guess it was last spring sometime when I was down in a little, playing in a little town called Alberta, Alabama, in the southernmost part, southeast even, of Mobile. And... I started playing the fiddle in this little school, about 75 kids, and this little kid in the front row put on the most amazing display of musical self-abuse I've ever seen anybody do. I mean, that kid was a ham bone and fool. And I yanked him out of school, took him out in the front yard of the school. We sat under a big live oak tree, and he retaught me everything I used to do when I was a kid. But what he didn't know was a little ham bone rhyme, which I taught him, and which I'll show to you right now. But I haven't done this yet today. So, I'm going to jump start myself. <laughs> ham bone, ham bone, where you been? Around the world and back again. Ham bone, ham bone, where's your wife? Out in the kitchen, cooking up rice. Ham bone, ham bone, have you heard? Pop's gonna buy you a mockingbird. If that mockingbird don't sing, Pop's gonna buy you a diamond ring. If that diamond ring turns brass, Pop's gonna buy you a looking glass. If that looking glass gets broke, Pop's gonna buy you a billy goat. If that billy goat won't pull, Pop's gonna buy you a cart and bull. If that cart bull fall down, Pop's gonna buy you a wedding gown. If that wedding gown gets torn, Pop's gonna kick you right out the door. Hambo, Hambo. Thank you. 
This evening is is the Hammer Dulcimer, which is a, 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 another member of the Zither family, but a little more uncommon. The difference between the uh, dulcimer and a lot of instruments is that rather than being picked or plucked, you use mallets to strike. It. And it's sort of a like a string xylophone. It's found all over the world, and in this country, it's mainly used for dance music. Uh, such as uh, a tune like uh, Paul Van Arsdale's The Dulcimer Rio. By using different hammers, like these which have a relatively hard surface or the soft ones, you can get different tones. And the dance tunes that are played on here uh, are often accompanied with fiddles and banjos and mandolins and instruments such as that, and used, of course, for dancing, which is another thing that's going to be happening this evening. And one of those folks who played in a square dance band out in North Carolina was a guy by the name of Virgil Cravens, who I had a chance to meet several times before he died in 1980. And here's a tune that was his signature tune. His band would always play leather breeches at least once in the course of an evening. That's the second tune I'm going to play, actually. The first one is another dance tune popular among fiddle players in my area called the Blackberry Blossom.
Thank you. Calling is really exciting because it's a, in a way you're a real orchestrator of an evening because you're, it's more than just telling everybody what to do because you've got to keep track of the square in the back that's had a little too much to drink and uh, you've got to make sure that the, you know, that the musicians are appreciated and, you, and you've got to make sure that, uh, you know, the little children who are in the set here are being looked after and that uh, everybody's having a good time. That's your responsibility. So it's, it's fun, you know, I, I call them the dances themselves. That's the easy part. Making sure everybody has a good time and doing the right dances in the right order. Sticking a waltz in where it needs to happen. Making sure you just don't grind everybody down to where they just can't stand up anymore. Uh, it's, it's fun. And every crew is different. I've called dances to senior citizens and children and deaf people and people in wheelchairs. And each time it's a challenge. And uh, each time it's a lot of fun. Wait for the call. <laughs> Sing it part two. Call from number one, go right down the middle, next to the death, ring and two. Turn that pretty little girl around and you bring her on right back through. I'll have my left corner and I'll have my right your own. Take your corner by the hand and you promenade her all the way home and you promenade home, see the city, promenade home. Promenade home, see the city. I'm gonna leave you now. Couple one, couple number one, go right down the middle and split the little ring in two. Turn that pretty little gal around and you bring them all right back through. I'll have at left corner, I'll have at right your own. Take your corner by the hand and you promenade her all the way home and you promenade home, see the city, promenade home. You gotta promenade home, see the city. I'm gonna leave you now. Couple one, couple number one, go right down the middle and split the little ring in two. Turn that pretty little gal around and you bring her on right back through. All about left corner and you go, side go your own. Take your corner right by the hand and you promenade her all the way home and you promenade home, see the city, promenade home. You gotta promenade home, see the city. I'm gonna leave you now once more. Couple number one, go right down the middle and you split the little ring in two. Turn that pretty little gal around and you bring her on right back through and then you go sit down your corner. I'll have that right you on. Take your corner right by the hand and you promenade her all the way home. Look who you got. Sit, 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 promenade home. Promenade home, sit, sit, sit. And a couple number two. Couple number two, go right down the middle and you split that ring in two. Turn to that pretty little gal around and you bring her on the right back through and then you alamant left the corner. Alamant right your own. Take your corner right by the hand and you promenade her all the way home and you promenade home. Say the same day, promenade home. You gotta promenade home, say the same day. I'm gonna leave you now. Couple number two, go right down the middle and split that ring in two. Take your corner right by the hand. Look, you got it. Promenade home, 